money from the same nigga. Listen to what the fuck I'm finna tell you. The same feds that just gave this nigga that get out of jail free card by telling on these niggas is the same feds that gave that gave this nigga this goddamn money. The same motherfuckers. It's the same motherfuckers. I've told y'all that McDonald's and Burger King are owned by the same person. Walmart and Winn Dixie is owned by the same person. When I'm telling you this, don't tell me no, it's not. It, it, his name is Walton and uh, Mr. McDonald. Because you don't know that. You don't know that you've been told that. I'm telling you. A, a great business model for any business model is a controlled opposition. This is why I came up with the concept of the golf course. It seems like everyone profits off the destruction of our warrior class, meaning young black men. The judicial system, the prison system, Clothing, fucking food, just, just, just name them. Anybody who will profit off our destruction puts money into the music business, and that's where they handle their business at, is on the golf course. On the golf course, all of them playing golf and telling each other how well they're doing because of young black men. We're nothing more than the coal that fuels their trains. Without us dying and going through this type of pain, they won't be able to survive. So when the controlled opposition I'm speaking about is Atlantic, Epic, Universal, RCA, E1. All of them owned by one person. Make you believe that they compete. Hot 97, Shade 4, 5, e, uh, The Breakfast Club, any urban radio, the top. They say Ebro in the Morning and Charlemagne, The Breakfast Club. You think they're competing. But the owners, shaking hands, playing golf. Loving it. Same way when Big Ed Tupac. Who made money no matter what? No matter who died. Even when they died, they even made even more money. The distribution companies. Imagine the people who were making the CDs and shit like that. Oh my God. I wish they had beef more. What better, just listen to me. You have a peasant. Let's give one of these fucking peasants some money. All of them, rap, just choose one of them. All right. He got the money. I got plenty of record label friends. Y'all make him number one. No problem. Double XL source, all owned by the same person. He's number one, hottest artist ever. Every radio station, everywhere you go, every five minutes. He's hot. What do a rapper do? I need to get a song with the hottest artist out. What does that do to the, the fake-ass peasant artist? It validates them. 